Do you get people messaging you on Microsoft Teams and then you forget to message them back? Well, I've got a tip for you on how to overcome just that. Hello and welcome, Paul Dredge here, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to set up an automated way of setting reminders to message someone back. I'm sure we've all been there where you're very busy throughout your working day, someone will inbox you into Teams, you go and have a look at it, and then you may forget to go back and message that person. It happens to me all the time. I get to the end of my day, I'm like, oh, didn't message them back, better check, message people back. So what I'm gonna show you is a way of automating this using the nifty little tool of Power Automate. Real quick, real simple way of doing things. Power Automate may feel a bit daunting when we talk about automation. You think, well, that's well out of my depth of, of technology-wise and so on. Um, well, what I'm going to show you is how to set this up in the click of a button. No coding experience, no um, technical experience needed. Anyone can do that out here. So let's have a look at how we can set this up ourselves using Power Automate within Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Microsoft Teams, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and um, go into my three little dots here and go into my Power Automate application. If you don't have Power Automate under your more options um, of apps here, you'd need to go to more apps and then search for Power Automate. You might have to install it, but then it should show up down in our three dots for more options and into Power Automate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click onto the Power Automate application here, and it's gonna load Power Automate. As you can see, I'm still in Microsoft Teams. I've not come out of my Teams um, application, still working in Microsoft Teams here. And what we can see is we can scroll down and we've got these team templates for using um, with Flow here. So we can build these flows within Power Automate um, to build out these automated processes. There are lots of different ones in here. The one I'm gonna be wanting to do is but setting a reminder of having, uh, uh, when someone messages me, I'm gonna be able to trigger a reminder to remind me in so long, so many seconds, so many minutes, whatever you wanna do it as, to allow me to remember to message that person back. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to new flow in the top right hand corner here. And you can see again, it's pointing out these templates for me. So it's got, it's got lots of templates in here and lots of different things, but what I want is this follow up on a message template. So you can see it's linking with Teams, Timer, and Teams, um, follow up on message, built by Microsoft. So I'm gonna click on this follow up on message option, and it's now going to ask me about creating my flow. So you can see here, it's giving me a bit of information, what my flow name is gonna be called, just gonna leave it as that follow up on a message option, may have to sign in, I'm already signed in, you may have to click on the sign in, um, but as we're signing to Teams, it's letting me know that the green tick, we're all, we've validated our connection through to Microsoft Teams. Gonna click on continue, and now it's saying we can go and edit this flow, so, so if you do want to go and change some of the settings in here, you can do, but I'm just gonna create it straight out of the box from this template, so I'm clicking on to create flow. This will now do some churning, some thinking, some loading, and straight away we can see your flow, your, your workflow, apologies, has been created. So I'm going to click on to done, and I'm just going to go into my home here within Power Automate. And what I should see then is now my follow up on message status is on, modified 14 seconds ago. So I now have this ability to follow up on a message from someone I'm chatting with. If I go over to my chat now, and I can see I've got a message from Chewbacca only came in a minute or so ago and you can see Chewbacca is saying please can you let me have the updated documents on the Millennium Falcon. A little bit busy, maybe I need to go and find those documentation, maybe I need to do a bit of work here. But what I can do is I can click on my more options, so I hover over the message, can get my more options from the three little dots, go down to more actions and we can see here we have a follow up on a mess. It's a message. If I click onto this then you can see now, little pop-up box, when do I want to be reminded? 20 minutes, one hour, three hours tomorrow, or in a week. 
If I go for the 20 minutes option, then that's going to ping me uh, an update to ask me, um, sorry, it's going to ping me an update to remind me to message back Chewbacca. So I'm going to select 20 minutes. I'm not going to sit here for 20 minutes and wait. We'll come back and we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to press the submit button and that's going to then trigger that reminder for me to message Chewbacca back around the Millennium Falcon. So let's have a look very, very shortly at what that looks like. 20 minutes later. 20 minutes has now passed and what we can see is we actually have an activity bell and something in our chat. So let's go into the activity bell, see what that says. And we've got a message from Flo here saying message reminder, reminder to follow up on the message from Chewbacca. Got a message and then we've got the option to say view message. So if I click onto that view message, it takes me to that Chewbacca message. So what we'll see is when we do that, um, the three dots, more actions and follow up on message, it triggers that automation flow on the time that we set. And then we get a reminder from the flow bot to say, hey, you need to do this. And then we've got that link through to the message. Helps me massively. Really, really helpful way of doing things. I can set reminders, 20 minutes, maybe an hour if I'm in the middle of a, a call or a meeting or whatever it may be. So it triggers me to remind me to go back to that person. I'll not forget it. Really, really useful tool and quick and easy to set up from our Power Automate application into our new flow option at the top here and then using one of these templates within Microsoft Teams here, follow up on message, real simple. Anyone out there can do this. And then you've got that brilliant way of setting up those reminders, three dots in a message, more actions, follow up on message, and then we're selecting our time on when we want that follow up to happen. Hopefully that's gonna help some of you out there. It's definitely helping me. I'm sure it's gonna help many of you. So until next time with one of my tips, Look after yourselves, people.